Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 Blavatnik National Awards for Young Scientists. The young scientists we are honoring tonight are working at the cutting edge of fields like astrophysics, materials science, nanotechnology, geophysics, genetics, and genomics. The work is urgently needed to solve the challenges of the 21st century and beyond. Will everyone please stand as we welcome the finalists of the 2017 Blavatnik National Awards for Young Scientists. Welcome, Blavatnik Scholars. Congratulations to each of you and to all of this year's National Fire. You know, you've been chosen for not only the quality and novelty and impact of your discoveries to date, but everybody needs to know that what makes this award special is that it also assesses your extraordinary promise. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play, give a round of applause to the newest honorary member of the New York Academy of Sciences, Mr. Len Blavatny. Melanie Sanford. She's risen to the top, in part because she's a visionary scientist who is able to see the big picture and combine mechanistic detail thinking with an acute awareness of the unmet practical needs of the wider world. And tonight, we celebrate her innovative, interdisciplinary work that's helped build new molecules for a better world. So it is a great pleasure to introduce the 2017 Blavatnik National Laureate in Chemistry, Moses Gomberg, Distinguished University Professor of Chemistry at uh, the University of Michigan, Dr. Melanie Sapp. So my research really focuses on developing better ways to make chemical bonds. Current estimates suggest that greater than 10% of US annual energy consumption is taken up with these processes of making chemical bonds. And so if we can develop ways to make chemical bonds in a more efficient, a safer, a more energy efficient manner, we have the potential to have a huge impact on, um, on, on society. It's a tremendous honor to win this award. I again want to thank the Blavatnik Foundation again. And um, again, it's fantastic. Thank you. So Yi is the 2017 Blavatnik National Laureate in Physical Sciences and Engineering. And I can't think of a more worthy young scientist for this honor. Tonight, he's being celebrated for his truly groundbreaking work fostering sustainable energy through creative innovations in nanotechnology. It is my privilege to present to you the 2017 National Laureate in Physical Sciences and Engineering, Material Scientist, Dr. Yi Huang. The whole world needs energy. At the same time, we are damaging our environment. So we need to work on uh, energy in a renewable way, we need to come up with a solution. So this is a challenge we are facing in order to double, triple the amount of energy you store for a given size of the batteries. I founded a company called Amprius nine years ago to commercialize this technology. We are making great progress. We have manufacturing plant opening last year, having now highest energy density batteries on the market. The 20 year story of the discovery and, and repurposing of CRISPR has many, many heroes. But Fung played an absolutely seminal role by taking that bacterial protein system and making it work to edit the DNA in higher cells, like our own human cells. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to introduce to you an extraordinary young man and a colleague of mine at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard the 2017 Blavatnik National Laureate in Life Sciences, Dr. Feng Zhang. I'm, I'm deeply honored to be here. Um, over the past um, day and also over um, the summer symposium, I've gotten uh, the opportunity to meet many other young scientists who are really working at the frontier of their fields and pushing the world forward. With the completion of the human genome, we now know the DNA letters in the genome, uh, every single one of them. And as we study the human genome, as we try to unravel what these different letters mean, we're now starting to identify differences in the genomes of individuals that lie in disease. 
To date, we have now identified over 6,000 genetic mutations that underlie disease. And as we develop these gene editing-based systems, uh, one day we may be able to treat uh, many and many of these uh, genetic uh, mutations. Um, thank you very much. It's really a great honor to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Walter Isaacson. He's the greatest person who connected art and science, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. He didn't just connect art and science. He made no distinction between the two. Because, like a lot of people in this room, he simply wanted to know the patterns of nature. He wanted to know everything you could possibly know about everything that could be known. And by looking across the patterns of nature, he was able to see their beauty. What we do here, what Len Blavatnik does in his life in arts as well as science, as well as in education, what we all try to do is eventually figure out we're trying to connect with something larger than ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, here's to the exceptional 2017 Blavatnik National Awards for young scientists, finalists, and laureates, and to science.